Glorious bastards, King Cobra JFS back at it with another video. So Jessica Boyle literally sent me two pairs of her fucking underwear when she sent the knife back that I gave her when 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 I bought for her when we were dating. Talking all this shit like, oh, I don't need you in my life, fucking na 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 na. And you ain't shit, and I'm over you. And it's like, if you were over me, you'd quit talking about me on your fucking social media pages. You'd quit sending me packages. Like, Jessica Boyle sent me back the pocket knife that I bought her when we were dating. And she's the kind of fucking insane bitch that'll be like, I want my knife back now that you have it. Like, she just wants any excuse she can to keep a connection with me. And try to justify it like, ah. And it's like, Jessica, if you wanted to get back together with me, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't fucking talk all this shit about me on YouTube. Spread all these fucking lies. Be like, oh, I hate Josh. But in the next sentence, but I miss him. And it shows you that Jessica Boyle's not handling the breakup in the most professional of manner. I watched a video of some other random YouTuber covering her shit. And in one sentence, she's like, Josh ain't shit. But then like two sentences later, she's like, oh, I'm going to show up to uh, Cobra's house. And I want to masturbate fucking outside of his window kind of thing. Like, what are you fucking on about? Yeah, clearly you're still attached. Otherwise, you wouldn't say that unhinged shit. And when you call Jessica Boyle out on her bullshit... She's the kind of person that can't fucking handle it. She will fucking say whatever she can to redirect the situation and make it look like she's innocent. It's called gaslighting. It's called virtue signaling. It's called grifting. And Jessica's the worst. That kind of speaks high volume when even my YouTube trolls are like, I fucking hate Jessica. Because in their mind, they justify it as they're the only ones who get to bully Cobra. And who the fuck is this Jessica bitch? And it's like, okay, 98% of the crap that Jessica Boyle's done to me, my trolls have already done to me multiple times. So y'all are hypocrites for hating Jessica for bullying me, dude. If you would have seen the fucking... The fucking letter she sent with the knife. It was just so fucking full of shit. Just all these fucking, I don't need you, I'm over you. Here's your fucking knife back, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, you still want me, otherwise you wouldn't be talking all this shit about me on social media trying to use me for clout. Because nobody finds Jessica Boyle fascinating. No one likes her fucking shitty videos or her stupid cooking videos. Or her shitty drink combos. They only watch when she talks about me. Uh, because I'm more popular on, on social media than she is. And she knows this. Otherwise she'd shut the fuck up about me. If she was really over King Cobra JFS. She would just stop talking about me on her fucking page dude. Like if this whole gender. That's the thing of it. If. The whole Jessica Boyle thing where gender reversed and I was the one doing this crap to her. People would be like, dude, you are fucking unhinged. You, you, you need to leave her alone, blah, blah, blah. Okay, nobody would put up with it if the Jessica Boyle shit were gender reversed. Nobody would put up with it. And I wish Jessica Boyle would just quit talking about me on her fucking social media pages. Quit talking about my bullshit on her pages and just leave me the fuck alone. She is blatantly stalking my ass at this point. And I'm not going to back down until she fucking stops. I'm more stubborn than she is. She's not going to fucking win this, dude. I've already pressed charges on her for revenge pointing my ass. Because that's totally going to get your man back, right, Jessica? Sitting there talking all this shit about me, fucking revenge pointing me. Spreading lies about me. My fans are sick of her shits.
They're like, Jesus, Cobra, you shouldn't have to put up with this shit. This bitch has got problems. I'm like, you think? There's a lot of fucked up things I want to say about Jessica right now, but I'm like, no, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I will say this, though. I love watching her have a fucking mental freakout breakdown over me on, on camera, watching her cry her fake crocodile tears. I miss Josh. I love my ring. And then turn around. You don't even know. I love Josh. I want him back. And then fucking turn around the next day and go, Josh ain't shit. It's like, who the fuck are you bullshitting? You get blackout drunk on fucking stream and tell everyone how you really feel. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Jessica Boyle. I want to lick the tears off her face when she's crying and having one of her emotional fits. That would be fucking hilarious. Then I want to collect her tears from her crying little bitch-ass face and use it as lube to fuck the next lucky of-age consenting non-related alive of-age cisgendered adult female fangirl. And speaking of that, hey Jessica, thank you for sending me two pairs of your underwear with the knife that you sent back, because it's clear you still want to ride this, but it ain't going to happen. I'm sure my next fangirl will look way better on those than you ever will. Fuck Jessica Boyle, she's the fucking worst. Now, a lot of people will cover Jessica's bullshit so that when she deletes the fucking video, people will be like, and she tries to say, I never said that. And people are like, oh, really? Exhibit, go fuck yourself. A no. A hell to the no. And that's what I'm fucking saying, man. No one's buying Jessica Boyle's bullshit. She tries to say, well, I didn't say this. Really? Then this was clipped from your stream two nights ago or the night before. And you, know, and you don't remember because you were fucking drunk and being stupid. Jessica loves to drink like I do, but she can't handle her liquor. And on top of that, she's emotionally unfucking stable. And I wish she would just fucking leave me alone and quit talking about me and, and my shit on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick of this shit. It's not healthy, dude. She can't take the fucking hint. And she's so bipolar with the way she feels about me these days. Because her mind can't grasp. She had the best dick in her life. And she lost it. There's so many videos of her on YouTube talking about how amazing my dick is. And then she'll turn around and talk shit on me. And it's like, no one's buying it, dude. It's like, Jessica Boyle, you're not going to win me back by doing crap like this. With the whole, hey, I'm going to revenge porn Josh. Talk all the shit about him that I want on my videos. And then try to play victim like I'm the one suffering by having a mental breakdown on camera. Looking like a hot, trashy mess. So sitting on the toilet of your parents' bathroom with half a bottle of Bacardi gold between your legs, crying your fake tears over me, trying to garner sympathy, because Jessica Boyle thinks, oh, I can derail Josh's fame and then talk all this shit about I want on him, and then if I say, if I stay here and sit here and blah, if I sit here and say how much I miss him, people will feel sorry for me and hate Josh, and they call him an asshole because I'm not giving her a chance. And it's like, well, you see how psychotic she is, I gave her multiple chances. And it's like, I can see through her bullshit, dude. And then when I call her out on it, she gets pissed off because she knows I'm right. And Jessica Boyle claims to be about, all about communication. She's not. 
If she was about communication, she wouldn't fucking film our fights on social media and then put it out there for clout. Sitting here sipping on some Tranquiri London Dry Gin mixed with some peaches and cream. Signature Select. Carbonated water. It'll give me some hydration with my dehydration. Now I'm sick of it. Jessica Boyle needs to fucking leave me the fuck alone and quit talking about my ex crushes. The only reason they were brought up in their relationship in the first place is because my fucking asshole YouTube trolls couldn't stand the fact that I had a girlfriend after waiting patiently for six years. My YouTube trolls sit there saying, oh, the only way you're going to get laid is if you rape a bitch, making fun of me because I hate sickos and rape and shit. Or saying, you're never going to get laid again, Cobra. And I'm like, fuck you, I hate sickos, I hate rape, I want to keep waiting patiently. And look what happened, I got some pussy and I proved the trolls wrong. And that's what made them matter more than anything. So to get even, once they realized how psychotic Jessica Boyle is, they would encourage her bullshit to ruin our dates. And then when it wasn't the trolls encouraging her bullshit to try to ruin our dates, her own stupid shit made it worse. And I'm like, I do not need this mental stress in my life, dude. Seriously, I wish Jessica Boyle would just fucking leave me alone. You know in the box that she sent her knife back in? It included two pairs of her underwear, believe it or not. And this handwritten note. I didn't look through it till the other day. And one of my fangirls said, she said she did this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, did she really? Fucking Jessica. I look in the box and sure as shit. I'm like, if Jessica Boyle was fucking over me, she wouldn't be sitting here sending me a letter talking about how much she fucking hates me, how much she's over me. Here's your fucking knife back. I don't want it. I can't stand you. You're not the man I thought you were. You blah, 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 talking all this shit. And then be like, oh, well, here's a pair of my underwear. It's like, I don't want to, I don't even want to be with her, dude. And she's trying to send me her underwear. And I'm like, bruh, that is so not appropriate. That was like major stalking behavior. One second. Let's take a look at what Jessica Boyle sent me in this goddamn fucking box. Fucking bitch. Here's the two pairs of underwear she sent me right here. These are going to look really nice and a way hotter, way more appropriate, way more easier to deal with of age fangirl. Like, she claims to be over me, but she sent me these underwears. The fuck is wrong with her, dude? And what the fuck is this? Christmas bullshit. Fuck out of here with that. Is that from Spencer's Gifts? Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, it's a little Christmas decoration that's supposed to fart when you squeeze the button. That's cute. Here's the knife that I bought Jessica Boyle right here. When we were dating, we went to a cute little gift shop here in town, and she was checking out the knife display. And I said, you see a knife you like? Pick it out, and I'll buy it for you. Because that's what you're supposed to do when you're 
when you got a girlfriend. And she's so full of shit, too, because you know how I know this? One more second here. Oh, look at that. She sent back one of the fan t-shirts she bought. The Simp Shrimp t-shirt. Stop simp shaming. Amen to that. So Jessica Boyle wants to send me this in the mail. And you know, that's the thing of it. She's already sent me another package and God knows what the fuck's going to be in that shit. And it's like, Jessica, just leave me the fuck alone. Quit sending me crap in the mail. Fucking quit talking about my ex crushes. Quit talking about me. Just fucking leave me the fuck alone. What the fuck is even this t-shirt? Uh, support American pipe makers. Glass, mouthpiece, bowl, carb, arch. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wash the fucking King Cobra fan t-shirt. And I'm going to include that with the magic wand when I send it out. And I... Either tomorrow or the next day. So I'm going to wash this t-shirt because it's got cat hair all over it and shit. And then when I wash it and get it nice and clean, I'm going to send it to the, uh, the fan who bought the $500 wand. And I know Jessica Boyle is full of shit because last time she was fucking here... I tried to hand her her pink coat. She was like, no, keep it. I don't want it. You can give it to Angie for all I care. Going off about her words, she said, fuck Chris. And then a couple months later, it's like, no, I want the jacket back. And it's like, she's just doing this crap because she knows that if she leaves her shit here, she has an excuse to come back. It's stalker mentality, dude. So I want to wash this t-shirt real good, get all the fucking hair and the smell of Jessica off of it. Ew. And like, you should stop. Okay, here's the thing of it. You should never sacrifice your self-dignity for some good pussy. That's called being a simp. But at the same time, we live in this toxic culture where it's like, let me just put this stuff back up and I'll get back to you on that. Or it's like, you know, women are expected to give you sex, and if they don't give it, they're a cock tease, and if they do give it, they're immediately slut-shamed. Where men, on the other hand, are expected to get laid. And if they don't get it, they get called a faggot and an incel and a loser. If they try to get it, they get called a simp. Which leads to men celeb getting celebrated for getting laid and women getting slut-shamed for it, whereas men are simp-shamed for trying to get laid. And it's like you can't fucking sit there and expect women to give you sex and then slut-shame them as soon as they give it to you. And you can't fucking sit there and expect men to get laid and then simp-shame them as soon as they try. That is such horseshit. It's just how fucking fake our society is, dude. And there's a big difference between simp shaming and being a simp. You know, if you're going after a chick who don't want you, it's creepy, it's stalkerish, and she's made it very clear she don't want you, and you're still trying. And, like, you know, you can tell... And, like, if chicks will use what they want and get what they want to get what they want, they're like, yeah, you know, chicks rely on simps half the time to give them attention. And the other half, it's like, eh. So thanks for the underwear, Jessica. I'm sure that uh, that'll look real nice on my next girlfriend, love. <laughs>
And I'm sure the woman who bought the $500 wand will appreciate a free King Cobra t-shirt to go with it. I'm just trying to put things together for the wand care package so that, like, you know, the fan that paid for that gets what gets, you know what I'm saying?